Here we are at camp doing a little bit of roadside mechanics. Beautiful little spot down here. Yeah, my van was squeaking a lot last week. So, Jim Lee Bob. Hello, Jim. Hi. <laughs> um, took it apart to have a little look, see what was happening under there. And discovered that the radiator were cracked, weren't it? Oh, yeah, it burst. It proper burst. And then what else happened? The power steering belt was The power steering worn. belt was the wrong size. So it's literally started squeaking within months of having it put on. Uh, so we've now got a new power steering belt, which is the right size. The auxiliary. Um, well, there's two, isn't there? There's the power steering belt and then there's the uh, alternator belt. But alternator. putting the old alternator belt back on I always it's say fine. auxiliary. <laughs> um, and you made a new cog. You made the cog better. Oh, that was on the alternator. Which has been a problem that I've had for years and years. I, the alternator goes every year and the mechanics always have trouble finding so one to fit it. And you discovered why. adjustment bolt which looks like a little cog um, had been rounded off at some point so instead of spending six quid on buying a new one like a garage should have done what I've done is re-machined it and re-cogged it and now it works fine. 32 mil socket yes. on a large ratchet and some tissue. Okay, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working here! Come on! <laughs> so, we should be ready to rock and roll this afternoon. Yay! And the BFG will be back on the road. She's turned into a workshop for now. <laughs> yeah, it's been about two weeks waiting on parts. Um, so yeah, we'll be excited to get on the road because it's the end of summer, coming up for autumn, and we want to catch a bit of that sunshine down on the south coast of Devon before it's on universal coolant um, since I've had the van and I rate it uh, big time and you can mix it with any other coolant that's already in there's the no system, coolant which in there this is, at all. yeah but just heads up that you can mix it with any um, what fun, the fun, uh, fun fun time. yeah <laughs> so for a T4 from age 1990 to 2003, the coolant capacity whoop, oh, <laughs> is, did that go way over? No, no, I've got, oh, pump, I've got to pump it into the system. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Um, bloop, bloop, the capacity bloop. is 9 litres, so we've put in half one-to-one -one ratio of the coolant. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Ah! Well, the squeak's gone, that's for sure, from the power steering belt. And he went for a little test drive, and uh, he's not coming back. <laughs> I think it's getting darker and darker. Street lights came on. Yay! He's there! <coughs> 
Yay. Oh, it sounds nice. It's like a brand spanking new bus, that. <laughs> it sounds brilliant. Take this and take that for a drive. Woo! That's what happens when you change the oil after five years. That feels good. <laughs> Oh my god, no squeaky. No squeaky. No jerky jerky. No jerky jerky, just steering that works. Don't change until you really have to. This yeah, is not a slow to, van at all. She used to struggle. 2.4, and people were like surprised that it was 2.4 because it properly chugs up hills. Right, foot down. What? Change now. Go loads faster. <laughs> it should take you a week to get to 50, you're already there. <laughs> then book it in for its MOT, which is due at um, uh, three weeks. See if it fails on anything. Let's see what's what. There was a lot of corrosion and erosion. Uh, <laughs> I've got a feeling because your advisor is from the last one, you're probably going to need some brakes. brake parts. All yeah, the yeah. brakes. So every, we'll see what that's like. Done up. So we might end up having to redo the whole brakes as well. Yeah. They've got lots of brake fluid because they bought I've it. I've got lots of oil all over my face, I know that one.